Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a fixed footer in a Squarespace website. That means the footer of your website will stay visible at the bottom of the browser window no matter how much content there is to scroll through. Now what we're going to do is isolate the entire footer, but I'll also teach you how to isolate individual sections in case you just want one part of that footer to stay at the bottom of the page at all times. So as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you exactly how this works. So here we are in my demo site, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to do this for the entire footer or just an individual section of the footer. So this is the main code that we're going to be using, and let's go ahead and scroll all the way down so you can see. I actually have three different sections in this footer. If we hop into edit mode and I select edit footer, as soon as I hover over it, you'll see I have three individual sections here. You can have as many as you'd like. I'll go ahead and select done, and let's scroll back up here and grab this code. Now I'm just going to copy this out of my demo site, but it is listed in the description below. And let's navigate to design and custom CSS because we want this code to be applied site-wide. So I'm just going to paste it right here and you'll see immediately the entire footer, all three sections just got moved up. So they're always going to be at the bottom of the page. We've set them to position fixed. We set the width to 100%. If we remove that, you'll see it actually scoots them over a bit, which is not what we want. And then we set the bottom to zero, that keeps it at the bottom of the page, and the Z index to 99. That means these footer sections will be on top of all of the site content. So you can see I'm scrolling through my content here, but the footer will always be on top. Now, what's really important to note is that I don't want all three of these sections to stay at the bottom. I just want this last one. So what I can do here is actually say page section, and now you'll see just that last footer section is at the bottom of the page. Everything else scrolls right through. The other two footer sections, they're down here at the very bottom, but this last one will be stuck at the bottom of the page no matter where I'm scrolling. Now we can add a little bit more CSS to make this stand out. Maybe you wanna give it a border on the top. We'll say border top, 1px solid. There we go, now it kind of matches the header and you'll see it stays there at the bottom. That helps differentiate it a bit. You can also add a box shadow if you want to. I threw that code in there. Let's go ahead and add a box shadow. That'll help it stand out even more. So it's very obvious it's the top layer of the section. All kinds of cool options. So again, if you're isolating just one section of the footer, just the last one, you can say footer sections, page section, last of type. Now, what if you've got three sections like I have in this example, but you want the middle one instead of the last or instead of the first or instead of the whole thing? You can actually identify it by each individual section in order here by saying nth child two. So let's copy this. We'll paste it right here. And now the second section of my footer is going to be isolated. If I change that to one, it'll be the first. And you can always say first of type or last of type like we had before and that'll be the last page section inside that footer or again remove that part and just say footer sections and the whole thing will be stuck there at the bottom whatever you decide to go with just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go now all of those different codes are listed below make sure you grab the right one for the uh, look you're trying to achieve be it the entire footer being fixed or just an individual section Definitely like this video if you learned something awesome and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single Tuesday and I want you to catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.